Greetings in Jesus name. Today we'll be dealing one more uh, heroes of faith, Epaphroditus. Philippians chapter 2 verse 25. Yet I suppose it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother, companion in labor, my fellow soldier, but your messenger and uh, he that ministered to my wants. Again 29 and 30. Receive him therefore in the Lord with all gladness and hold such in reputations because for the work of Christ he was nigh unto death not regarding his life to supply your lack of service towards me. Epaphroditus means lovely. Paul speaks about his love. When Paul calls him my companion in labor, I told you if there is no pain, your love can't be valued. If there is no labor, your love loses its value. Paul calls him my brother. Christ was crucified on the cross. The vertical side of the cross speaks about your love towards God. The horizontal side of the cross speaks about your love to the brother. Oh, do you? There are many who love God. Do you love your brother? The Bible is very clear. Love your neighbor as thyself. And Paul speaks, he is my brother. That what? Because he was a man of love. And his love, his life was always for God and for God's people especially for servants of God. Yeah, because as Paul was in the prison and his needs to be supplied and Philippian church is sending an offering and he has to bring the offering in midst of so much of dangers and there he risked his life to provide for one servants of God and Paul says he provided to my needs. The servants of God, the pastors. For this one Paul, he risked his life. And one more thing, Philippians 4.18 says, again Paul says, but I have all I abound. I am full. I have received of Epaphroditus that which the things which were sent from you in order of a sweet smell, a sacrifice, so acceptable, well pleasing to God. A man of love, a man of labor. His life is sold out for God when he brings an offering that also was lovely in the sight of God, lovely in the sight of sons of God. According to his name, he lived a lovely life for the one who is altogether lovely. Because he risked his life to bring this offering, the offering was well pleasing to the sight of God. Because Christ gave his life on the cross as sacrifice, his offering became the well pleasing to Father. Are you willing to sacrifice? Oh, are you for one man is risking his life? Oh, Paul calls him my fellow soldier. He was a soldier. They are Mary Magdalene and Mary. There in the New Testament, we find the Bible, women bringing costly oil to anoint our Lord. Yet, this man never brought oil, but he brought his life to be the, to be a blessing to sons of God. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, I praise and thank you for this beautiful servant of God, Epaphroditus, a fellow soldier, companion labor, a man whose life for God, a man who had a God's love, a man who labored for God, even risked his life to bring an offering for one prisoner of gospel, Paul, oh God, who was in the prison. Oh God, make us one like him. Lord, may our life and our labor and our love will show Christ. Help us to be, Lord, a faithful people who also provide to our servants of God. Lord, risking our life, may our life, whatever we give, whatever we do, will be well pleasing to you, Jesus. Raise us to this standard of living, not to have a mean mentality, but to have, Lord, a Christ-like mentality. Always, Lord, this beloved brother always looked for the interest of others. Help us to look for the interest of others, O oh God. Mold us, O oh God, in Jesus' name we pray.